Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can install a plugin on Lime Survey. So it's not that difficult. I would say that it's all about uh, understanding uh, how the system is working. So um, you can install plugin by clicking over hand configuration, then you get here the plugin manager. And within the plugin manager, uh, you can see the different plugins which have been uploaded on your server. So that's the key thing to understand here is that you cannot have uh, an additional plugin over here by adding it as a button over here and uploading a zip file. No, you need for this to uh, find out the plugin uh, somewhere and then uh, to upload it on the, the server. So to say here, um, you can of course use the store of Lime Survey, so store uh, Lime Survey. And here uh, you will get an access to uh, different plugins. So those are the ones which have been indexed. Uh, then you need to download them and once you do so you need to go on your server and uh, you need to go on the following folder the one named plugins and you need to upload your uh, file over here uh, then what you need to pay attention to is that the name of the folder has to be exactly the name as the php file which will be assigned to it uh, so for example here if i enter within uh, word cloud for example you will see that i get uh, the word cloud.php if i wouldn't have named the folder accordingly here the word cloud i won't have got uh, the word cloud plugin um, available over here within the list uh, then the next thing that you need to do is of course you need to configure the plugin and once you do so you need to activate it okay that's as well an important part uh, here in my case, I'm going to use the uh, Pwik plugins, uh, which is not listed within the store, but that you can get uh, by just going on like uh, Lime Survey, Pwik, uh, and GitHub, and, and you will find it on, uh, on GitHub over here. So here what I did is I just pick up this file and I upload it up on my, um, on my Matomo, so with the same name. And then after it's asking me, for example, here to configure it. So here in the case of Matomo, this is at the endpoint. This is the site ID to which I want to send it. And the added value, for example, of this plugin is that it's going to do things which are not done by default by Matomo if I would have um, just copy and paste it directly on the website. So Matomo, for the one who doesn't know it, it's an analytics solution. So it's here in order to measure how people are interacting with your website. In my case over here, the website is uh, Lime survey itself. So let's imagine, for example, that I'm going to access to one of my survey. Let's take uh, let's take this one, for example, um, and that's um, going to access to it like this. Um, so in fact, what's going to happen over here is that Matomo is currently uh, recording the way that I'm interacting with uh, Lime survey. So let's imagine, for example, that uh, so my name is. Uh, Lucas, for example, I'm going to give a grade of 2 and this is a great training run. Great training run. Okay, the fact that I interacted with this form, uh, Matomo would have uh, registered everything that, that I did. So if I go now on uh, Matomo, I looked at uh, the data, I can see it for uh, the current time. That's, um, I just fill in the uh, survey as you can see I was I was over here I was in the admin before but then I went on the survey and this is where the integration come in easy is that those features are not loaded by default within Matomo so this has been the work of the developer of the integration for Lime Survey who as well uh, developed this uh, this event sending that the information is completed so that's the kind of thing i could have done by myself by inserting the matomo tracking code on my lime survey uh, website but it's probably highly technical for people who don't know matomo so that's the advantage of using a plugin here it's about measuring things for a third party platform and sending data to it in order uh, for you to get uh, enhancement additional value to uh, to lime survey so to keep in mind uh, how do plugin works? Well, uh, you go over here in configuration, you click over here in plugin manager. Here you get, in fact, uh, what you get from your server. So if you cannot see the plugin over here, it means that you need to download the plugin first, then upload it on your server within the folder names plugins. Then name the folder 
uh, of the plugin as you wanted it uh, to um, as equal as the PHP file which is within this given folder and then you will have access to the admin here for the plugin that you want then you can configure it and then you can activate it hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching